Hey everybody, this is uh, Key Sticks here from Tsunami Cables, and this is the creation of Tony Paleo's utilitarian board. Um, here's some cool kind of shots of it. And basically what we're going to be doing is this is kind of a whole segment of me actually putting the board together. So the way I'm kind of doing the audio, at least for this, is um, just basically telling you what I'm doing as the video is kind of playing. So we've got a couple of videos going. You can kind of see the GoPro there um, shooting the board. That's basically a time lapse, which will be intermittent uh, in between, as well as some cool kind of shots, um, photos that we took and through some of the stuff just to make the video kind of interesting. So um, sorry for some of the shaky camera work. But uh, yeah, so this is what, as of right now, what I'm doing is uh, tenting all of the cables. So the cables have already, we've already cut the cables to length. The board's already put out. Um, all of the connectors are on the board. If you kind of look there, there might be a couple other shots coming up that will show that. Um, the Temple audio board that Tony's using is uh, a really cool design. This is the first board I actually was able to work on from Temple Audio and um, it's a really cool board. I really dig it. I like the way that's uh, kind of the new thing right now is um, these boards with all the holes on the top of them and they have a mount on the bottom of each pedal that the pedal kind of uh, locks into the board itself and then has like a screw hand screw on the bottom that screws in. So that's kind of cool. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later too. But yeah, so right now basically I'm just kind of continuity testing, making sure that each connector on each side is good. Um, and typically uh, there's a lot of back and forth between checking on one side of the ca uh, cable to the other, as well as putting in the, um, the cables back and forth onto the board. You'll see me do it a couple of times and get the cables on the board and make sure the length is correct, all that kind of stuff. Here's kind of a cool little black and white shot of some of the stuff we were doing. Um, some of the cables getting ready. And um, so typically I will do all of the cables on one side, continuity tests and everything, um, and then heat shrink and get those, that one side of the cable all locked in and then start doing the other side, especially for the small six inch cables it's really kind of difficult to do um, to put both of the heat shrinks on and not have it all uh, tied up and you know actually heat shrinked um, on the actual cable itself I don't know if that makes sense but um, there's just not a ton of room on the six inch cables little patch cables to have everything open and, and not screwed on and not put together so uh, once we do that get them all put in then we're pretty much good to go um, so yeah let's see what am I doing right now so I'm just putting on some more looks like i'm putting on some heat shrink getting the second side ready um so yep there's a close-up shot of some of me soldering um there you can see all of the one side put on and the second uh, body and um, heat shrink done on the other side so there's those and i'm doing a couple right now i'm doing the longer um he has a basically a, one cable that goes from the bottom row up to the top row so of his uh, of his board so that was kind of a one longer cable um, I don't remember the exact size but I want to say it's close to it like a two foot cable and um, so yep so tenting that here's that GoPro footage I was talking about earlier so this is kind of the time-lapse stuff um, so you can see there on the board you can see all the connectors already put on the board and that's just basically so I can kind of map out the direction of where everything's going and the cable length and all that kind of stuff so normally I do that just to kind of put everything into place know where everything's at kind of ahead of time um, and then you'll see me kind of lifting some of the pedals up and down or the board up and down and pulling some of the pedals off um, that's due to the like, like just like that that's due to the hand screw underneath so the pedals as of right now won't come off the board um, you have to undo the screw for it to come off so um, but yeah so that's that at least and try to see kind of where we're at so right now yep I'm just putting the cables together doing all that good stuff um, and let's see here soldering away getting a lot of these done you can see in the top upper left hand corner there there's a, like three or four cables just sitting there ready to, that are already have one side soldered on um, go through and here's kind of the next shot so right there it was kind of quick but I was basically continuity testing and resistant testing um, all the cables that have already done and got both sides on so we do that obviously before we do the heat shrink to make sure that they're good cables and everything's good and then do the heat shrink here's I am doing the heat shrink on the last uh, on the the bodies of the uh, with our name and all that kind of stuff on it so getting those all tied up and done 
those are getting there and then now it's just assembling the actual board with the cables so getting everything kind of put together and assembled there's that big long cable it goes from one side to the other and here's some actual footage of that as well and sorry for the shaky camera angles but sometimes the pedals don't want to uh, lock into the boards and, and it's not really a, a manufacturer issue it's it's just a, a user issues me just trying to get it locked in and get it squared away um, and then tightening up all of those pieces those are the little knobs I'm just screwing on the bottom that hold the actual pedals into place which is kind of cool um, bending some of the cables just to get them kind of pre-bent and kind of test and ready to go and really this is the best way of doing this um, you know I've had lots of guys that um, you know not everybody can just send me their board um, Tony actually uh, you know is, is a Boston bass player um, so he's out on the East Coast I'm out on the West Coast and um, so he actually shipped me this whole thing a big old box with a you know it was in a padded mono case and um, with all his pedals and everything on it and you can see some of the stickers there some of the tape he wrote on it and he wrote out a big long list of all the stuff of how he kind of wanted me how he wanted it wired and, and all that kind of stuff and some ideas of what he had and things like that so um, here's me basically putting the whole thing kind of together and um, and not everybody can do that I, I totally understand you can't ship the board to me or anything like that um, so really the best way of doing it is you know we have now on our website you can buy um, six inch nine inch and 12 inch patch cables um, you know just let me know what you need and how many you need and that kind of thing if you're gonna be doing a full board if you've got a really big board setup um, you know just contact me let me know and we can we can work with you guys um, but yeah just getting everything all squared away and then we basically would run it at the end run sig signal all the way through the whole pedal board and, t and test all the pedals make sure everything's working and you got signal going through everything and um, here's me pulling off his little um, tape marks given uh, an idea on where what goes where and all that kind of stuff since uh, basically the board is done at that point so yeah so this is pretty much it um, last cable looks like and I'm getting that figured out and then um, yeah so um, let's see what else I want to thank Tony uh, Paleo for uh, for sending me his board and um, doing all of that and it's a lot of fun to do it I believe we're doing me doing two or three other boards of his which is kind of crazy and cool so um, look forward to that and I want to thank uh, Temple Audio for making the killer boards that they do and then plus all the companies here that uh, you can see here's all the photos of the individual patch cables and all that good stuff so thank you so much for watching the video and hope you guys enjoyed it